we physicists have held up for 100 years, starting around 1916, for this photo. It is a local black hole. It may very well be one of the most captivating and baffling phenomena in the universe. They are huge monsters in terms of power, yet still practically invisible to us. A black hole weighing perhaps two to four million times the mass of the sun. But based on the research that has been done over the last two or three decades, we've gone from knowing literally nothing about them to getting. 32. To find. Out more and more. Very up close and personal. And things have recently gotten even more insane. Recently, researchers reported that we finally got a glimpse of what's inside a black hole. This new data sheds light on details the scientific world may have initially missed. Join us as we dig deeper into black holes and uncover what's inside. Space is vast and dangerous. So, what are black holes? Before we get into the details of what researchers found, we have to discuss the basics. Although most of Chiu 0103, yes, have some idea of what black holes are, there are still a few gaps in our understanding. You see, in 1916, Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. At that time, the concept was entirely theoretical. It took another 50 years for the scientific community to find proof that black holes really exist. This occurred in the 1960s when they were studying the Cygnus X1 binary system and noticed a strangely radiant blue star emitting uh, an A134 uh, X rays. This star was clearly not a stable object but was orbiting, a massive unseen object. Upon further examination, it was observed that the X rays weren't just moving around, they were being pulled into a dark object they were orbiting. Hence, the name black hole. This discovery was groundbreaking because it provided evidence that black holes actually exist and weren't just an invention of Einstein's wild imagination. While that was incredible, it also meant there was this astonishing entity in space that we urgently needed to understand. Scientists around the globe began to investigate. To 204, this black hole was named Cygnus X1, and it is located in the constellation Cygnus, about 6,000 light years from Earth. It was no small discovery. It's many times brighter than the Sun, and incredibly dense, which gives it an immensely powerful gravitational pull. That pull is so strong that not even light can escape it, hence the name black hole. The concept of a black hole is both intriguing and terrifying. It's a region of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. Anything that gets too close to a black hole is pulled in, forever. But that danger only makes them more compelling to study. Was that it? Or were we just getting started? The answer turned out to be the latter. O3. After the discovery of Cygnus X1, researchers began searching for other black holes. They found that there may be nearly 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. But because they are so incredibly difficult to detect, we still don't have an accurate count. By most estimates, there are millions of black holes in our galaxy, which makes them even more important to study. Let's break it down. The main concern with black holes is always going to be gravity. Their gravitational pull is so intense that anything entering is compressed cosmically until it becomes a singularity. 0339. In simpler terms, black holes are like vast vacuum cleaners that suck everything in. One of the most startling things about black hole research is that if someone were to fall into one, they would eventually reach a point where they become a singular line. This process would happen gradually, and the person would perish before their transformation was complete. So let's just say, no one should try entering one. But they're everywhere. So, could we be in danger? Despite the fact that the nearest Black hole to Earth is around 500 light years away. It's still close enough to raise some concerns. 410 in 2021, researchers produced the first clear image of a black hole, the M87 black hole. 
This black hole was captured over several nights, and with each image, scientists gathered more data. They had to align the individual images to fill in the gaps. In Damilian, doing so, they determined that there are three layers to a black hole. It's not just a single expanding hole of nothingness, as many assume. To reach the nothingness part, you have to get through the first two layers. 443. The first layer is called the event horizon, the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no turning back. You'll be pulled into the black hole, but the three layers only get more intense from there. The second layer is the photon sphere, where light orbits the black hole. Any light that enters this region becomes trapped and cannot escape due to the black hole's gravitational pull. Finally, we come to the third layer, the singularity, 05, 14. This is where everything that enters the black hole is cosmically compacted, until it becomes an infinitely dense point. The singularity is a region in space-time where the known laws of physics break down, and we can no longer predict what happens. And here's where it gets even more complicated. Every black hole is different. Yes, they tend to follow the three-layer model, but the way each black hole functions could be drastically different. If this were anything else, we could just point our telescopes and study the details. But with black holes, we can't. Zra, 6.14 researchers can only study them indirectly by observing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust surrounding them. Sending a probe into a black hole isn't an option. Anything that crosses the event, horizon is pulled toward the singularity and compressed into an infinitesimally small point. So, you can't spend billions of dollars on a probe that will be instantly lost to nothingness. Because of that, researchers are forced to study black holes in a two-dimensional way, even though they are three-dimensional singularities. 0642, to make matters even more challenging, we face two major issues. Each black hole is unique. The laws of physics break down inside them. This means traditional scientific methods don't really apply. Still, researchers remain busy. There are many competing theories and explanations, and they only get more fascinating. One of the most compelling theories is that black holes are formed from collapsed stars. When a star runs out of fuel, it can no longer counteract gravity. So, it begins to collapse in on itself. 0747. If the star is massive enough, this process continues until it becomes a singularity. Better understand black holes, NASA researchers turned their attention to the center of the M87 galaxy. Astronomers observed a whirlpool of hot hydrogen gas rotating at an incredible 1.2 million mph. Such a massive, fast-spinning disk should have torn itself apart. But it didn't. That meant something enormously massive was holding it together. This object weighed the equivalent of two to three billion suns. It had to be a black hole. 0819. But that's not the only theory. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr used Einstein's equations of gravity to describe a rotating black hole. He showed that instead of collapsing into a point, a rotating black hole might collapse into a ring of fire or thin disk. This rotating disk, known as the ergosphere, prevents collapse due to its outward rotational forces. Kerr's solution also predicted something even stranger, the Einstein-Rosen bridge, or wormhole. Zetandro 9, 17, this is a theoretical tunnel through space-time that connects two separate regions of the universe, or even two parallel universes. The idea is that if you fell into a black hole, you might not be crushed. Instead, you could be transported through a wormhole and exit via a white hole in another universe. To understand this, consider Einstein's idea of space-time. Reality is not made of separate dimensions. It's a four-dimensional fabric. Massive objects warp this fabric, creating gravity. Now imagine space-time as a sheet of paper. 
Coin 09, Tab 49. If you draw two points on the sheet and connect them with a line, that's how normal motion through space-time works. But if you fold the sheet so the two points touch, you've created a shortcut. That's the idea of a wormhole. Black holes might be gateways to other universes, just like wormholes. Black holes contain immense power and even deeper mysteries. They can consume entire stars. But they may also open windows into parallel universes. 10. 21. The more we learn about black holes, the more we uncover about space-time and the laws of nature. We don't have all the answers yet. But one thing is certain. Black holes will remain. Some of the most profound and perplexing objects in the universe. As we continue exploring the enigma of black holes, new discoveries and theories challenge our understanding. One of the most fascinating aspects of black holes is how they warp space and time. 10. 53. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, mass and energy bend space-time, and this effect becomes extreme near a black hole. In the vicinity of a black hole, the warping is so intense that it leads to bizarre effects, like time dilation. In practical terms, if you orbited a black hole, time would pass more slowly for you than for someone farther away. To an outside observer, you would appear to slow, down and freeze at the event horizon, never quite crossing it. But from your perspective, time continues, and you fall toward the singularity. 11. So, what happens inside a black hole? We can't send astronauts or probes in to find out, but physicists have proposed several ideas. One theory is that the singularity is a point where space-time tears apart and the laws of physics no longer apply. An object falling in would be crushed into an infinitely small point. But beyond that, we don't know. Our current physics can't explain it. Quantum mechanics offers another idea. At 12.24, it suggests space-time might not be smooth, but made of tiny, discrete units. This idea, called quantum gravity, could provide a framework for understanding black, holes, and the singularity. Some researchers even believe that with quantum gravity, black holes might not contain true singularities after all. Instead, the heart of a black hole might be a region where quantum effects balance out gravity in unexpected ways. Some physicists propose that the singularity might be replaced by what's called a quantum bounce, a scenario where collapsing, matter rebounds and potentially creates a new region of space and time. In this model, what we perceive as a black hole in our universe might be the gateway to another, entirely separate universe on the other side. This speculative idea leads us into the realm of the multiverse hypothesis, where every black hole could be a seed for a new cosmos. According to this concept, the conditions inside a black hole could determine the physical laws and constants of a newly born universe, meaning that our universe itself might have originated from a black hole in another parent universe. It's a radical idea, but one that fits within certain models of quantum cosmology and loop quantum gravity. In addition to the multiverse theory, there's also the question of information paradox, a major unresolved puzzle in theoretical physics. According to quantum mechanics, information about a physical system should never be lost, yet classical black hole theory suggests that anything that falls into a black hole is lost forever, including all information about its original state. This conflict has troubled physicists for decades. Stephen Hawking famously suggested that black holes could evaporate through a process now called Hawking radiation, where black holes slowly lose mass and eventually vanish. But what happens to the information? Recent developments suggest that the information might not be destroyed, but instead encoded in subtle changes to the event horizon or stored in a highly scrambled form in the Hawking radiation itself, a theory known as black hole complementarity. Others propose the concept of firewalls, violent barriers at the event horizon that would incinerate anything trying to enter. Though this idea challenges Einstein's equivalence principle and remains hotly debated, 
as we refine our understanding of quantum gravity and further analyze data from observatories like the Event Horizon Telescope, LIGO, and upcoming space missions, we edge closer to a grand unification of general relativity and quantum mechanics, the two pillars of modern physics that currently clash most violently at the singularity. In the end, black holes are not just cosmic mysteries. They are keys to the deepest questions of reality. What is time? What is space? What lies beyond our universe, if such a beyond exists at all? Black holes sit at the threshold of these questions, waiting patiently, in the darkness, pulling us toward answers we can barely begin to imagine.